Okay, then. I'm Lindsay. I'm Lindsay. I'm Lindsay. Okay. It's Dice Wind's daughters. Good guy now. Lovely spot. I'll open the angle about in a bit and let you see the trees. And here we are. Down by the burn. The mill stream. And welcome to Die Mill. It's uh, our penultimate night, or it was our penultimate night on the island, and we're about to move across the other side for our final night. And um, raining again, but this is a sheltered spot, and we're out of the wind. And all the microphones having to deal with is the river behind me. A good night last night. And uh, we'll probably have a good night tonight. <laughs> We've had a few rough nights with the weather and not been able to film. But we're now getting out and about and grabbing some photos before we head back. So let me show you a bit of this place. The trail on this side of the river goes up and over the bridge where it joins the trail on the other side of the river. Last time we were here, Lindsay was digging around in the trees beyond there, up against the wall, looking for a cache. We have that cache, we got it. And uh, thankfully, not having to go there this time, there seems to be a bit of work going on up there. But, there's a, a lot rain. And I can see Lindsay coming back. We might even catch her as we swing round. And there's something hanging in the trees worse than uh, doggy bags in my opinion. But over the other side is Lindsay. He's coming down. I'm going to go across the, the road bridge and back to the van. It's a lovely place to get out and about. And it's just nice to be able to do just that with today's weather. The woodland of Dye Mill sits on the site of an old water-driven mill and so is rich in archaeological heritage. As well as the routes which are marked through the forest, you can climb through the conifers to lonely Uri Loch where hen harriers fly low over the heather moorland. People of the past have left traces all through this forest, from old shielings and the ruins of Laganville to the well-known Milax Rave, a prehistoric chambered can.
In the video that's about to start, Lindsay will refer to blue and the camera. This is an example of the blue she's talking about, but the video that uh, is coming up shows what can be done with some simple temperature matching, colour temperature matching, in most video editors. This was to correct a fault on the camera. The camera is now working perfectly well after a reset, but it uh, just shows what can be done in a decent editor. Anyway, I'll leave you with Lindsay. Sorry folks, it may just be my eyes, but the camera looks like it's picking up only blue colours, which is a bit weird. Um, it's Friday the 29th of December. Sorry. Uh, tree roots and we're still on Arran we're due to leave tomorrow I believe Storm Garrett has left and unfortunately has left a wake of problems behind it in the fact that no one was expecting the snow <laughs> It's winter, of course we expect snow, um, but there's a lot of trees down, so the A82's kind of jigged because it's blocked with trees falling over. I believe the A9's open, the A96 is still flooded, it is raining. And sorry, there may be a few expletives coming out soon because this is dodgier than I remember. There hasn't really been a lot of filming or photography going on during the last week, basically. Because one, it's been too wet, too windy to even leave the comfort of Desmond. Oh, but as this is our last full day on Aaron, I thought I'd give it a go, but I'm more concerned about why the camera's showing me blue which it shouldn't be right I'm gonna switch you off we're still in Dye Mill I'm not sure you can hear me over the noise of the water but this is where we're at we're heading back down towards the car park. There's a lot of cyclists about. And a few dog walkers. And not alone me. So, that's it for the moment. Um, I'll switch off a sec. Like I said before, I'm not sure why the screen's showing blue. Unless that's the screen telling me that the camera doesn't like it because it's too cold. I don't know. As you can see, there's a lot of water. But it has been raining almost non-stop since we got here. We have had a really good time. It's been very enjoyable. <laughs> no thanks, not today. It's fine. Uh, we've really enjoyed the break, even though we haven't really been able to get out the van a lot.
we've had no problems finding water. I uh, went into the little bookshop, got a couple of books. The water was done in next to no time even though it must have been quite empty because I don't think we've ever left it that long before to be honest, between filling. Both the chemical disposal points on the island are still working, although there seems to be signs for the one at Blackwater Foot, but not the other one. But it was still usable, and we used it. Anyway, went past it, thought, we're here, we may as well try and see if it's working. It was working, so we used it. Left a donation, as we always do, because we are grateful for the communities that decide to run these things. They're not cheap, but we are grateful. I think this island is one that you could keep coming back to year after year and still not see everything. It has so much to offer and the people are incredibly friendly, incredibly helpful. And they seem to realise that tourism in all its forms, be it People staying in bed and breakfast, people staying in hotels, people staying in campers, motorhomes, caravans, you name it, tents. It's one of their major sources of income. If not the major source of income. Well, apart from the whiskey leaving the islands, obviously, from the two stills. definitely be coming back but maybe not at Christmas um, I don't know and I certainly would not come in the height of season you wouldn't be able to move for people we have seen a few motorhomes campers but apart from the first night where we were at North Sanix uh, there was a camper parked along the road from us. We haven't been parked next to a camper or motorhome or any other kind of vehicle the whole week we've been here. Which has surprised me no end. And like I say, I've seen a few. None that have come anywhere near us, thankfully. Like I said, this is our last full day on Aaron, so I decided to come out for a walk. The batteries seem to be holding up very well. Um, I think we need to get a bigger form of power bank for the phones and cameras and whatnot. But we'll see. We might not need them. As you can see, if you can see across that's the path I went up and now we're coming back down. It's a circular one mile route. I don't know if I've done the full mile or not because I've got no idea. I don't really care. It 
so thank you for following us on our journeys thank you for the comments the likes and any interaction you have between myself and David we really do appreciate everything that everybody says and does we love Desmond we love being out in Desmond, we love showing people where we're go where we've been, what's available. Hello, Heron. David loves researching the history of the places we've been, and generally, we just love being together. So, I wish you all well. I've passed by now. A happy 2024. May you have health, happiness, and may 2024 be kinder to us all. Because to be honest, I think we need it. So take care all. Thank you again. And we'll catch you in the new year. Thank you for watching Desmond's Dons. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.